Hi guys, let's texture these 3D models using AI. First, you need to install Stable Projector. It's a free tool to texture your models using Stable Diffusion. Link is in the description. The 3D model that I'm using is this wooden stump. I unwrapped it. I'm going to export it as OBJ. Now, open Stable Projector. And the first time it will need to install some stuff, so just let it install. And you can also install this depth model to calculate the depth of your uh, 3D model. And we can choose the type of style that we will use here. Uh, you probably only have realistic vision, but you can add more clicking this button and a page will open with the AI models that you can download I'm using the Artemi comics that you can select and also download if you want to follow along just hit this button and then drag it to the folder that's open when you click the button then just select it from this drop down and you are all set for the variation of textures I want 4 and it will be 1024 by 20, 1024 and so let's load our model here and as you can see it's my stamp let's give it a prompt i'll keep it simple and okay so uh, for this model i want to give it a few angles a few camera angles so it will texture all around the model and i don't need to fix a lot of stuff so i'm putting one from top view here and the side also the other side now the back and i'll add the new I'll add a new camera to texture the front also. You need to drag them, just make sure they don't overlap each other because it will cause glitches on your texture. Let's generate art. And you can start seeing the model. Let's turn off the wireframe. Down below here, you can check how long it takes. Uh, let's let's click the camera icon so we can inspect the model better and just scroll on the variations to see which one is the best. Uh, we'll fix the top here. Uh, just uh, select the camera one and paint over it like this so it projects correctly over our model yeah this is really easy yeah this is nice okay for this part we need to select a new camera and uh, you have to okay I have just to, to click and try to see which one is the best and also the fourth so we can mix them together the you can change the hardness of the brush here and it will smudge the image a lot better and you just go around your model and fix the black spots or the places where it didn't merge correctly okay this is fine uh, i'm just gonna scroll again for the other variations to see if any of these is better for this tutorial i'll keep this one and let's just edit the hue a bit also the saturation and the uh, luminosity also reduce a bit of contrast 
yeah this is a lot better right so if uh, we want to continue to edit this we can like add moss we just go into in paint and paint over this 3d model and just paint wherever you want to to edit your 3d let's change the prompt a bit let's like add moss here and generate art again and it will generate four new variations for this spot that we painted right this is finished so as you can see we can scroll around and look for uh, which of these fits better and uh, we can also select the controls and adjust the U and saturation to make it blend better just play with values until you find something that you like okay i need to increase a bit of saturation and yeah to delete these spots just select the the razor and um, start painting them around your model make sure it's on the smooth brush and just paint it remove these imperfections that were caused by the projection so now to save it just select the resolution that you want you can select up to 4k export select the folder you exported the model and hit save then jump back to blender we can load the texture and change the view to material and as you can see it fits perfectly on our model yeah guys and that's all so don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button and thank you for watching the video